Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 154. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 146 to 154. Hey, in Trick 154, we want to see how to do a little personal budget. Now, I have a little simple example here. On this sheet right here, 154.5, I have a huge example same exact tricks it's just it has all sorts of different accounts you might use for your home budget same exact tricks but now this is a smaller one now step one uh, this is just what I do it's, it's there's a million ways to do budgets but this is a nice simple uh, personal one I look at the receipts from years before and that really is what you need to do if you don't have any receipts you need to start saving them because that's the best way to estimate for the future you do it off of past data so what I do here is I have some basic variable expenses food clothes uh, a certain type of insurance medical house and these are the numbers I actually just put random numbers in here but I did it all the way out to December so I kept them for one whole year and you want to calculate an average that way you can use that average for each month for projecting your budget for next year so I'm gonna come down here it says step uh, two here um, but I'm gonna come down to uh, food clothes these are the same names as up here and I want to put my averages down here I'm gonna highlight this whole range and in this cell right here uh, the active cell I'm gonna type act equals average and then for food food clothes insurance medical is in the same order as up here so for um, food I'm simply gonna highlight that whole range there and keep it um, a relative cell range so when I um, control enter and enter this in it will properly go down to close insurance medical control enter and there's my averages by the way these are formulas that's how I made sure I didn't get them in the wrong order or spe didn't spell them incorrectly so that food is looking right up there which is a word typed in actually I like to put the, the color green for uh, formulas so there those are our averages that's step one you look at your past data for a complete year and calculate your averages per month the second step is to look at your contracts right here's your salary so you know you just type this in here's four thousand your cable bill you can just look see what it is for the next year you have various insurances you look on that contract because it's a fixed rate your retirement the idea is to, to look at your contracts for fixed expenses and then look at past data for variable expenses because you really don't have a fixed amount for food each month but you can estimate it based on past data now look at this what we have is we have a little table and we can build our uh, budget for the whole year and populate all of these values look in the VLOOKUP here's the first column here's the second column so what I've done here is I have a little table and there it is I have the um, these are all formulas exactly like up there in the table I'm gonna hit F2 except for there's two that are not interest that's just I typed it in and these are blank because you may you can type these in because for any budget you're not gonna have estimates exactly so you want to be able to type in some just type them in same with miscellaneous so if you didn't if you did it all up here then you wouldn't have to have these uh, blanks that's a formula too looking up to there okay so the idea is all of these labels here that have numbers from that table up above will do VLOOKUPs the uh, light colored cells will actually type values in watch this this is so incredibly uh, straightforward you just highlight the whole range here up to December and then holding control you're gonna highlight this next little range now it's not totally straightforward because we're doing this control trick to highlight areas that are not right next to each other but the fact that we can use one VLOOKUP in all of these cells is pretty uh, convenient and straightforward now here's the active cell so that's where we got now I'm going to uh, in this active cell right here create our formula equals VLOOKUP and then I'm gonna click here and hit the F4 key one, two, three times to put the dollar sign in front of the column but not the row. That means going across the columns it'll be stuck on cable, but when it goes down it'll move to insurance. Comma, and then the table is this whole table up here. But be sure and hit F4. Notice the values we want to return are in the second column. F4, comma, and then the column we want to return it from is two comma and then we need a uh, false or zero because we want an exact match because we're looking up words 
close parentheses. Now, because I've highlighted all the cells in advance, now I can, can control and then enter, and it enters all those values. That is just amazing. Nice, quick, easy way, and it got all the numbers. Now, we can fill in any interest, maybe 10 here, 11 here, or something like that, just in case we had some values that were not part of that VLOOKUP. Same with this miscellaneous. Maybe we had uh, 100 here, uh, 500 here, and 60 bucks here, for whatever reasons. Now we can simply add everything up. Uh, I'm going to go over here to the ends of the columns and actually do a formula here. Equals SUM, open parentheses, and then go and get my values. and then control enter and then I can copy this all the way down and we can check and see and sure enough that got it right I'll click escape and now we need to create our total expense formula and we gotta be careful here and we'll make a mistake and I'll just show you this mistake right here in this active cell I'll use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum alt equals but you gotta be careful when you use that keyboard shortcut or functions in general, Excel will try to fill it in. So hit F2 and notice that it added in the salary. So a quick way to edit it, notice all the cells are highlighted so I can edit this and then hit Control Enter. I'm going to click on the corner and drag down because I don't want that top value. Control Enter. And then finally I can highlight the whole range and do my uh, net income formula which in the active cell would be equals and click on that minus, that means the salary, minus our total expenses, and then control enter to populate the uh, entire table. Now there's a little personal budget, and you could format all of this. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control shift 4 for currency, control shift 4. And now um, we can change this. Hey, our salary really, really wasn't uh, 4000 It was actually 2900 we can change whatever we want here in this little assumption table, and then our VLOOKUPs uh, populate everything just like that. So there you go. That's how to do a personal budget. Here's a nice little short one here, and then there's a big one with all sorts of expenses and everything on this sheet. All right, we'll see you next trick.